if there's three things that you would want to pass on to every single personal trainer that's getting qualified in the next six months, mm-hmm. outside do the STC mentorship. Um, yeah. The position's available. Go to stcfit.com. If find, I like you. And find the mentorship. <laughs> And if I let Jess, you in, Jess will decide if <laughs> and, you're worth And I will the, interview she's the gatekeeper. you. Yeah. <laughs> you um, shall not pass, et cetera, et cetera. instantly <laughs> terrified. What are, the, <laughs> what are the three <laughs> things you think determine whether someone's going to be successful or not? Okay. I think that... Hang on. The, that they can work on? Or no, like a just personality? Yeah, okay. Because I think you can work on everything. Right. I think personality. Yeah, because I can sit here and lay out all the pillars of the things, the step-by-step things that I believe that you need to do. But I think if I had to give the most practical advice, which is um, the pillars shrunk down a little bit. Mm. One, I would say, it's going to sound so dumb, but it's like our thing. Do the fucking thing. So if you can sit there... And no, and the thing that you guys always say, if I told you if you made X amount of phone calls, you would have a full book of clients, would you do that? And people say yes, but then don't practically do the thing. So if you know the information's out there, which there's a lot of free accessible information out there, just sit down and do the work. Work on your business from the beginning. Lay those foundations from the beginning. That would be the number one. Yeah. Piece of advice there. The second one, depending on who you speak to, would potentially be controversial, but it's please stop worrying about what you look like on the internet. Mm. If you're a face-to-face personal tra- starting out as a face-to-face personal trainer. Yeah. Um I think that there are so many other important things to work on first. Mm. Being somebody that trains and posting about your own training is almost enough yeah. in those early days. And I, it's not really a guideline that is hard and fast and I think you're wrong if you're putting out information or I think that you're wrong if you're not posting anything. Yeah. I think that if you can document your own training and you're getting comfortable just, hey, I did some Figuring squats. Figuring shit out. Yeah, mm. I did some squats today. Yeah. Um, and not putting energy and your mental capacity into that and that being something that comes organically as part of working on your business mm. eventually. <clears throat> Yeah, I think if it takes away from getting yeah. busy and doing all the stuff that you're supposed to do to yeah. get yourself going, that's a problem. I say but- that because I know working with these first-year personal trainers and having been that, just how much mental capacity social media takes up. Mm. Yeah, It's so hard to do well. Yeah. And to do it properly, yeah. Yeah, it's so hard to do well and you're lying to me if you're going <laughs> to say, oh, it doesn't take that long. I know that even like doing a caption sometimes, I can sit there for like a fucking hour rattling my brain about information I want to put out there. Yeah. And that's an hour that you could have better spent, even if it was walking around on the gym floor saying hello to people. Yeah, especially if you have no clients. Exactly. Yeah. That's so, so important to come back to everything we just spoke about. When I didn't people, know if I was going to bring it up. But <laughs> people think that they're busy. You probably, and we're saying like, bro, we do so much more, hard flex, like whatever, being us about it. You probably are. Yeah. You're just busy doing the wrong shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're busy spending an hour on a caption that doesn't matter. You're busy creating content that you want other personal trainers to like. You're busy like making spreadsheets that don't matter. Sitting at reception, talking to the receptionist, Mm -hmm. making a spreadsheet that doesn't matter crying on a story because your clients don't check in instead of learning how to actually communicate with them. Like you mm-hmm. probably are busy. You're just doing shit that makes no difference to your outcome. Yeah. yeah. And you'll be way, you'll feel way less busy when you just boil it down and go, what's the one thing that I could do right now that has the biggest impact on my yeah. business? Yeah. I think. And then I, I, just to add to your point with the social media stuff, I don't even think it's, the more I reflect on this, the more I don't even think it's for new trainers. I used to be like, maybe your first year you should behave this way. I think now I'm almost thinking about it forever and I'm trying to apply it myself. Make content for your current clients. Yeah. Even if it's shit, it'll be better than something that you try and create for an audience. Or at yeah. least so, your or at least your favorite client that you want everyone to be like. To try and get reach, <laughs> to try and whatever. It's like just make shit that your clients will watch and go, that was great, that helped me. Yeah. Because there's other people in the world that are like your clients and it will help them too and it'll take way less emotional f- create way less emotional fatigue for you because yeah. you don't have to think about yeah. what's going to go viral what's going it's like it doesn't fucking matter just make it for your clients yeah 
you'll get more retention out of that than you would sales out of good content anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And would you rather keep clients for two years or have to replace them every 16 weeks? And it feeds back into exactly what you said, that if you don't have any clients, yeah. then that's not what you should be focusing on. Yeah, exactly. you've got no one to talk to yet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 100%. I think that's so such a, a valuable takeaway. So actually, you have to understand that you have to apply yourself consistently over time, which we talk about a lot. It's just like the cert four doesn't mean anything. To no. Me. It's your it's ticket just, onto yeah. the job site. Yeah, it's just so you train people and not hurt them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you're not going to kill anyone in the gym. Yeah, we should. You should. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, fingers yeah. crossed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The second point, don't focus on, don't put your energy into social media too soon. when you are starting. Yeah. 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 Too soon because I don't think even starting out is like a good time frame because you could be two years in and be running a shit business and you shouldn't be focusing on social media. Yeah. And then I think the third thing is you need goals and I think that those goals need to be numerical. I think that you need to have goals that are across the board. So you need to have an income goal. Yeah. To have an income goal, you need to know, and this is where reverse engineering. So you need to have your income goal of how much you want to earn and then how much you need to earn. Too, yeah. I think that it's nice to have a range. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, you need to know the absolute bare minimum, but <clears throat> that's why we do our first 1K week. Yep. I don't want to earn $1,000, but I want to know how quickly I can get there. Yeah. Mm. So... You know, having a goal of, cool, I need to be earning this much money. And rather than spending your time sitting in the gym, twiddling your thumbs, create your business around, you know, how much you're going to charge per client, how many clients you need, yeah, how many clients you need to, or how many people you need to call yeah. to get that many people in front of you, to get that many people converting to a client and how long, you know, you're going to keep them there. It's all numbers. Yeah. It's all numbers. And then... Yeah, sorry, if someone can no, say something. Do the fucking thing. Do, yeah. yeah, and knowing, I think... Knowing what you need to do as well. Like, it, we say the do the fucking thing. Like, Tam's got it on his T-shirt. <laughs> like, that's really valuable, but I think early on, one of the biggest obstacles, people don't know what that is. Yeah, because and Because they I, don't actually go, like you said, well... Yeah, well it's, all, it's all more clients. Yeah. What, what, is, what is more? Because you, you can have more and have no numbers, but still yeah. think more, and yeah. then that creates a total, like different mindset mentality that yeah. can restrict you from being productive. 100%. So if, if more clients is $1,000 a week, $1,000 a week means mm. this many clients, this yeah. many calls, this many people. Yeah. We we arbitrarily, with the resource that we have available at the moment on, on the website, again, Um, your first 1K week, we arbitrarily one. chose to have $1,000 because I think, in my experience, most personal trainers I've worked with, can pay their gym rent, can eat, can survive at home on a thousand dollars a week. We talked about it the yeah. other day, like the me- the median income in Australia is like forty eight grand. Mm. So after your your personal super contributions, etc., you're kind of okay. Like you you making a living. You're in a position where you have the ability to leverage and have longevity. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're making less than that, it's like you can't. So one thing can happen. Yeah, it puts you in big trouble. You're out of you're out yeah, of fitness. Yeah. I think it comes back to what we spoke about with budgeting. The same thing can be applied. If you can create systems that can reliably earn you one thousand dollars, those exact same systems can be leaned on to have your first five k. Like yeah, two yeah. k, yeah. which turns. We've well, got five to make a thousand yeah. to make two. Exactly. So how you make a thousand is going to influence how you make two and three and, and keep I, it. I think sustain. that. Because I know how lost I was when I was, you know, starting out as a PT and it's like, okay, cool. So I'm working in the morning and I'm working at night and then in the middle of the day, I'm going to train. Mm. And then is it even worth going home? And then you just waste so much time. But if you know that you want to speak to or contact or, you know, I need four clients this week to hit my goal yeah, or four sessions this week, whatever it is, or you yeah. make a one session this week, whatever it is. It's easier to break down those phone calls into, I need to make 10 today yeah. to hit. It's like, what does this mean? Yeah. And what do I have to do to get it? And then it's easier to block your time because when you hit those goals and you have that awareness of, cool, I've hit my what I need to do. Now, this is what I want to do. This is how much I want to earn. It's so much easier to build on that momentum yeah. and know that your business is headed in a direction that you're controlling rather than everywhere. Because it's not hard to be a personal trainer, but it's hard to be a good one. So, like, mm. I refuse to – it's such a saturated industry, but it's really not. 
there are a lot of people in it, but not a lot of people doing it well. Saturated, not competitive. Hundred percent. Easy, easy yeah. to stand out. Stand out PT has a good ring to it. <laughs> but we put a lot of thought into it. <laughs> yeah. There's so much, so much to like that saying of like it's simple, not easy. Mm. Yeah. With so many things, and I think like our Q and A each week is really just like bringing it back to simple for people. Yeah. It's like you're making it complicated for whatever reason. We've done it before and usually it's to serve yourself for whatever reason. It's like take a step back what actually needs to be done. Yeah. What's the lowest hanging fruit in front of you? Well, I don't have... If you don't have a fucking uh, welcome resource for your clients, you don't need to post four times a week on Instagram. If yeah. you don't, like, you know yeah. what I mean, like yeah, do, yeah. Do those fundamental, simple things that aren't sexy, mm. that you can't talk about, and other people are like, "Oh, good job, bro." Yeah. Like, yeah. if you are seeking, and we just spoke about STC internal culture is external validation. Yeah. <laughs> it's all of our love languages. We get it, <laughs> but you just have to do the gritty work repeatedly, relentlessly over time, and you undoubtedly be successful. Yeah. But I'm going to like interject there. You probably don't know what the gritty work is, which mm. is why you need to yeah. continue learning yeah. beyond what your set for teaches you because you can work really hard, as we've said, and it's not on anything that's going to be beneficial. Mm. So having that undeniable, having those number, I f- that's I don't know if it's my brain, but I feel like numbers are just the easiest thing to work to. Mm. You do it or you don't. Mm. If you can hit the numbers or you can't hit the numbers, mm. then things have to change. Yeah. But I think having that, there knowing that you are taking the right steps and knowing what steps to take based on what you've learned from other people. I was mentored as, you know, a first year PT, like all of, it's not something that I'm just saying because I get paid to do it. No, no, no. I had a mentor, paid yeah. for a mentor to get to where yeah. I, like I am. Um, And yeah, I think that when you can listen to and take on a board, take on board the advice of those other people. Yeah. It's just going to take so much stress away from the decisions you have to make day to day. Yeah. So much stress. And the last thing I would add to that is remember that personal training is a leadership position with your clients. What was Sherelle saying the other day? I do. I do. I I do with you. You you do do with with me. me. You do. Yeah. So if you're a personal trainer, everyone goes, okay, so I have to train. And then I'll train with other people and then other people will train with me and then they should be able to train by themselves. And that's really comfortable and easy. But what about I do the things that make me uncomfortable and that are really challenging and that force me to deal with whatever demons I've got or challenges or anything like just making the phone calls every single week, showing up repeatedly and trust the process and do the basics that you say to your clients 400 times a fucking week. Do you do that? Yeah. So I do first, do all those un- uncomfortable things in your business. Ref- I think framing it back to that helps me so much. Just like being able to be like, well, if I'm the leader in this situation, this is how, like when I went and did my golf lesson, it's like, oh, this is how people feel when they go to a personal trainer. Yeah. It's like, it's this is, shit. <laughs> yeah, it's like I, I don't know if this person's going to be good. I don't know if I can trust them. I don't know yeah, if they're they going to know what me. they're fucking yeah. talking about. Yeah. Um, I'm fucking ninety kilos and thirty three. Can I most just do it people, myself without spending the money? Most of the people that come here are fucking sixty or whatever. Like yeah. there was a lot of fuck. I actually feel a little bit apprehensive about this. The first time I went and played golf by myself, it was the same. The first time we were telling, it's, I don't know what episode, on an episode, I went in to take a selfie in the soccer room yesterday and a girl was, followed me yeah. in there. And I was like, oh, I'm out. <laughs> like, Mike, I'm out of here. I'm like, well, that's how my fucking clients feel when I tell them to film. Yeah. In the gym floor. Because like, I can turn around and be like, this is my fucking job, bro. Oh my that's God, why I can't, I'm filming. I can't remember when I was nervous to take gym selfies. Yeah, three days ago. <laughs> it's my answer. Pull the scrunch bums up your butt, pose yeah, in the yeah. mirror. Well, that, and that was it. Like the girl came in, was like, scrunch bums jacked. I was like, yeah, I'm out. You're this like, is, fuck, not, I'm jacked without my scrunch bums we're today. Not, we're not both doing belfies right now. I'm a leaf. The key yeah. is to flex mid, like between the sets and keep the camera on and take the screenshot. 
Oh. Yeah, but I can't take my shirt off in the gym. I don't yeah, want to top. Just flex with it. I mean, not with that attitude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I would be escorted, I'm sure. Good on you, Tam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's the other little layer I would put that. What do you think, Jace? You've been quiet. Well, it's uh, like I'm quiet because it's just about like everyone's speaking the same parallels. Like we yeah. obviously. You're just nodding haven't... along. Yeah, it's like there's. A... Is there anything knowing... we haven't said that you're like for a first year PT, the key to success? No, like we kind of, it's funny, there's so many parallels to training and you, and you guys, we spoke about the last bit, like what was, what's the advice that you would give for training? And it's like, it's going to be hard. It's going to be challenging. Like, I think that you can't just get, walk into something like this and just expect it to be a breeze. Like, mm. I think, yeah, like you guys have given really good things on practically how to apply it. And I think that once you acknowledge that it's going to be a, 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 a challenge that's worth taking on, and there's going to be highs and lows that are worth pers- like pushing through. You will get onto the other side where your business is is easier to maintain because you've built it. You've spent the time building it. You know that. Yeah. You know that balance of like your how long does it take to build a house? It takes a long time, but if you want to do it in a short period of time, you got to work really hard to do that. that but then maintaining and upkeeping the house, like mowing the lawns and making sure that it's clean and blah blah blah. It's like that doesn't take anywhere near the amount of effort and time that it took to make it. Yeah. So if you do the same thing in your business and you know there's going to be ups and downs, you'll have this thing that you get to choose how long you're in it for and when you w- and what you want to do with it, whether you want to take it to another level or you want to move on because it wasn't for you, you get that power. You don't you don't lose that power and leave because you didn't set things up properly and money is the reason and not having enough clients is why you exit. Yeah. 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 Slay. 